2020 was dominated by COVID-19. Even before the initial UK national lockdown came into force in March 2020, we adapted our business operations to ensure that the FPM could deliver to its mission and purpose, support our members and keep our staff safe. We improvised, innovated and acquired new virtual skills. In the first few months of the lockdown, we hosted popular webinars, an online education week and virtual training sessions for our DPM candidates. These early experiences gave us the confidence to set up our virtual annual symposium. And what a programme! We had Sir John Bell, Sir Mene Pangalas and many other brilliant speakers. Our exams also went online with remote invigilation, bringing in a number of candidates from outside the UK with a large cohort based in India. FPM continued to deliver and enrol pharmaceutical physicians onto the Pharmaceutical Medicine Specialty Training Programme. For example, we held our annual review of competence progression meetings online. And in January 2021, the GMC provisionally approved our new curriculum for the PMST programme. The designated body encouraged the early adoption of video conferencing for appraisals pre-lockdown. And this has since become standard practice and is anticipated to continue through 2021. Our policy and communication output has reached new levels and our media appearances by our FPM spokespersons have been almost a weekly occurrence on the BBC, on ITV and on Sky. We have also published blog articles and media statements responding to the emerging pandemic developments and other topics related to our specialty. These have been bolstered by a new website and this has been viewed and read many thousands of times. The new website it has also supported our engagement with the updated Good Pharmaceutical Medical Practice. We'd like to thank all the staff, members and external stakeholders who have made this happen. And we would encourage members and non-members alike to read our full annual report on the website. Thank you. Thank you.